So what we have here is a self-igniting propane torch. Last night I was going to light up a, f a fire in my good old-fashioned wood fireplace and like any well-prepared Boy Scout I was going to light it up with the propane torch. I hooked up my propane bottle and before I even got it screwed on all the way I heard this loud hissing noise and my first thought was that I didn't have the valve closed so I made sure the valve was closed and it was. I realized it was leaking propane inside the handle of the torch. So I disconnected the propane bottle quick and lit my fire with a good old hard hard way of a lighter. But so I already took the six screws out here to figure out what was wrong. I figured I'd make a quick how-to repair video. So if you look inside this thing, the way it works is your propane attaches down here on this fitting. And the propane just goes through this tiny little tube up into the valve body. When you open the valve, it lets the propane through out a tiny little jet here. It blows through this spring and up into the tube. The reason for the open area is it pulls air in as well and makes the proper mixture of propane and air. This is a, a little piezo igniter button, which is connected to this little insulated wire here that goes actually up through the tube to the end where the spark is made and to ground it there's this little loose wire clip on here that te that hooks on the valve body which grounds through the spring and the tube to complete the circuit for the spark to come back so because this clip is loose very well could have had a spark inside the handle with that propane blowing in the handle and it could have blown the whole thing up right in my hand so as you saw i was already inside i believe I've figured out what the problem is and that is this part is no longer securely attached. So if you unscrew this fitting here, take this little brass part out, you see down inside there is a little rubber o-ring and I think somehow the tube was no longer in that o-ring properly. So this piece would be on the tube, and the o-ring would be on the tube, like that. And when you screw it all together, it seals by squishing that o-ring tight between the two halves there. So let's see if I can tighten this back up with the o-ring back on the tube properly. And see if it seals up and works again. Okay. So that feels tight. So I'm not going to put all the screws back in right away to test it, but we'll snap that on. Hook up the propane. And see if the leak is gone. Oh, yeah, much better. Turn the valve on, hit the button, and it's all fixed. Just have to put the screws back. So if you hook up your propane bottle and you hear a hissing, don't hit the igniter button. You might be in for a big surprise. But it's all fixed now. Put all the screws back in and be almost as good as new. When I took it apart before I started the video, I did check the other end of the tube. It attaches in the same manner with the same kind of fitting and o-ring, and that end was all okay. Good to go.